what happens when um, the typical section needs to change. The pavement thicknesses need to increase because the daily traffic volume has increased. How do we make those changes in open roads design? What's the most effective way to make those changes? Well, rather than recreating or implementing a new typical section, with Open Roads Designer, we're going to parametrically make the changes directly in our roadway model. So I'll zoom in in the cross-section area. And again, our daily traffic volume has increased, and we're going to thicken up the pavement. Notice that the Open Roads model is a componentized model, not simply or only a terrain model. It is a defined, componentized model. So we're going to, again, we're going to change the pavement thicknesses. We'll go into our corridor. We'll open up the parametric constraints dialog box, and we'll begin to add parametric constraints to each of the layers within our roadway model. And we're going to start first with the bottom layer. And we'll note that it's uh, currently 0.14, and we're going to increase that thickness to 0.2. So we'll change that on both the start and the stop areas, and we'll notice what happens in the model and the dynamic section. So now, by making that modification, we changed what was the typical thickness of the pavement. In our base template, or our typical section, we've modified that to address the need or the change um, of the, the daily traffic increasing. So we'll continue now implementing uh, changes to the pavement layers. We'll move to the next layer up. We're going to change that to 0.18. Again, data point through the prompts. Make it 0.18 at both the start and the stop. Data point and watch the model and the dynamic section update. So we continue again to just make these changes. Now, move over to the left-hand side just to be sure that it is changing on both sides of the roadway. So let's take a look at the left-hand side of the roadway as well, and we'll continue modifying the depths of each of those pavement layers. Once again, we'll move up to the second pavement layer. We'll modify that from a point 0 0.051 to a point 0.1. Data point through the prompts, make the changes, and then data point to accept it. And the model will update. All right, so now we have um, everything modified except for the wearing course layer. And again, now we'll step through and make the change to the final pavement section. We'll change that to a 0 0.05 in both instances. Again, just data pointing through and watch the model change. So now we have updated the thicknesses of our pavement layers to meet our new daily traffic volume. Now, these constraints are flexible in that they can actually be turned on and turned off. So we can turn them off and notice what happens to the model. We can change the model simply by turning on and turning off these parametric constraints as well. So we'll flip that switch back to tr true. And again, the model will again update and the pavement will thicken. And so the Open Roads Designer model, this corridor is parametrically enabled so that we minimize recreating things. We are able to make modifications to elements as needed throughout our design process. Again, ultimately managing change more effectively and efficiently.